Hi, Shadia here, and welcome back to my channel. Let's get started on dinner. In my heated skillet, I'm going to add one tablespoon of earth balanced butter and one tablespoon of grapeseed oil. And we're gonna let that heat up. Now I'm adding my Gardein Italian sausages. Yes, they are frozen. So we're gonna excuse my arm and separate these so that they can defrost in the skillet. Now I'm gonna add one teaspoon, I'm sorry, one teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of ginger powder. and one teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of celery seeds. one half a teaspoon of coriander. One teaspoon of smoked paprika. Why, I don't know, it just sounded good. And it tasted good. One teaspoon of black pepper. And my favorite, one teaspoon of Vegeta. We're just gonna mix that up and try to separate some of those little sausages. Gently stir, look at the bubbles in the skillet. I think my temperature was on between a number four and number five. Yes, I cheated. I didn't feel like chopping, so when I was out shopping earlier, I bought some frozen mixed um, bell peppers with the onions already cut. And I just eyeballed that. I want to say that might be about a half a cup to half a cup to a cup, maybe a cup. Yeah. But just eyeball it to where you want it if you try this dish. It was absolutely delicious. Now you know I have to do my cayenne. So I'm doing just a half a teaspoon. I could have done a quarter because it had a nice kick to it, but it wasn't overpowering. And now two teaspoons of tapioca starch because we want to make a gravy. And mix that up. You want to mix that up so you can't see any more tapioca.
Yeah, I have water in a squirt bottle. <laughs> so in total, um, I added, I want to guesstimate a cup and a half. But I added it in slowly as I mix because you don't want to put it all in at one time. It just takes forever. So you just add a little bit at a time and mix it up and let it heat. And you have your gravy. And you give it a little taste. See if it's where you want it. And at this point, if you're missing a flavor that you're looking for, then just add it in here. I wanted a little bit more salt because I really couldn't taste it. So I added another teaspoon of the Vigetta. You don't have to. And a little bit more water because I wanted a lot of gravy because I have a lot of noodles to put this over. And mix that up. Keep that flame on though. And like I said, I have it set at between four and five on the number dial. And I'm just going to cover that. Let it simmer for about two, three minutes, and then I move it over and start on our greens. Okay, same concept. A, a tablespoon of oil in a skillet. I chopped up four cloves of garlic. Sorry, I had a brain freeze for a minute. And we're just gonna mix that around in the skillet and let them toast, but we don't wanna leave them alone too long because we don't want them to burn. No. So I washed and drained my spinach. I didn't put them in the spinner because I wanted a little bit of the water to stay on the spinach. So here we go into the skillet. And I'm turning the flame down because we don't want to cook the spinach. I just want to wilt it. And that flame went down to, I believe, three. The number three. And I covered it with the lid until I decided on what I wanted to put in here for flavoring. So we, yeah, black pepper. Who doesn't do black pepper on spinach? Most people do. <laughs> so I just sprinkled a little bit, about a half, half or a teaspoon. And there's the onion powder, about a teaspoon. And mix that up. I wish you could smell this. I love garlic spinach. I could just eat that all day by itself. Just trying to make sure all the seasoning is evenly distributed on all my veggies. And here we go with the teaspoon of Vigetta. Nah, not a teaspoon. Let's just do a half a teaspoon because it's really not a lot of spinach. And you know how spinach does when it cooks down. It's like one serving. So we don't want more seasoning than we have veggies. So we're still on number three. I just turned it off. No flame, cover it, and set it to the side. If you try this dish, let me know how you like it. And if you made any changes, what did you do different? <laughs>